Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to show you a monthly budget review for October. Um, I'm kind of wanting to do this every single month and I think this is just going to help us stay better on track with our spending and stay a little more accountable. So I wanted to go over what we spent, um, what we made and what we spent in October. And I kind of show you how we also um, budget. So this is, first of all, I just use, this is on my iPad. I just have an Excel app that I downloaded for free and it has worked out really well. It's really simple. I can pull up at any time to review our budget and to keep track of it. So this is, so our first spot here is just our income. And I will have um, on one side is kind of what we expect. So they're on the left side and then on the right side is what we actually spent for October and what we made. So there's my income, his income, our side jobs that we do, we do several side jobs and then any other unexpected money that comes in and then our total. So then we have underneath that, we'll have all of our expenses and you can see here. Um, so we have our water was a little bit lower than normal, um, Florida Power and Light was pretty much right on. Our phone bills was pretty much right on, just a little bit under our expected. Internet, it's always 20. Health insurance is, I know her health insurance is really low right now, um, but it is going to go up at the beginning of next year because they are getting rid of our plan. So we are gonna be going on a new plan and it's probably gonna be more expensive. So that's gonna definitely change. Um, our car insurance is always the same. Home insurance, always the same. Property tax, we haven't been in this house very long. We just moved. So this is more of kind of what we're expecting um, for our monthly property tax to try to see how much we need to put away every month. Um, our grocery, we came in $10 under uh, in October for our groceries. Uh, dining out, we did really well with dining out. We only spent $58 where our budget is at least $150. And I think we might try to cut that back to maybe 120 even. But we did really well in October. Uh, we had gift cards and we just tried to limit eating out. We've been meal planning, which we had just started, and I think that's really helping too. Uh, entertainment, we only spent $5 in entertainment. Gas was definitely over, and I think we did take a couple trips, so that's probably why it's a little bit higher. Um, household, we only spent $5.13. We didn't have any car maintenance that we spent on. The two main things that are got our budget a little higher. Um, pet was a lot higher. Um, we had some unexpected expenses come up and had to take Mason to the vet. And he had some pills that he had to take, some medications for infection. So that's why that's a little bit higher. And home repair, we I have a budget at $10 because we never had home repair before that we really did much with, um, but we're doing a lot of remodeling now since we just bought this house. There's a lot of things we want to do, a lot of projects we're working on, so that's why that's a little bit higher, and it probably will be a little bit higher coming in the next few months as we do things. Um, so the next thing is fun money. This is my husband and I. This is kind of our monthly allowance for personal spending. Uh, we each get $40, and we can spend it on however we want. And then miscellaneous was $70.36. The church category is normally going to be $100 a month, but because we just moved, we haven't found a home church yet. So once we do find a home church, we will start um, doing $100 a month towards that. And then down here, so you can see what our total expected is and then what our actual is. So we are a little bit over. And again, that is probably from mason and the vet bills being the main thing so this is our only debt that we have um and this was all just recently accumulated haverty's is a furniture store when we moved here we moved with literally no furniture we didn't have anything and so we had to go out and get furniture quickly so we did go and all this all this on here is zero interest we're not going to pay any interest on any of it uh, we're going to pay it off by the promotion that went it before it ends. So that was what Haverty's is, is for furniture. Lowe's, we bought uh, some appliances and some different things that we needed from there. And then vet bill, 
This was a very unexpected expense. A couple months ago, Mason was diagnosed with epilepsy. So he had had some major seizure attacks. We had to go to the ER, it was very costly. And then he also had to have surgery for an unrelated uh, illness, an unrelated issue to the seizures. So that really added up. That's why we decided to do that on a credit card so we didn't have to do it all at once but it is at no interest also. So we will pay that off in that time period. And then you can see the total of what our, so this is our debt that we owe, and then this is after we paid it, this is what we paid down for this month, and what we actually, our payment that we made for this month for our debt. And then you can see the totals there, which still is a little bit higher. Um, but then after subtracting what we made and our expenses, we were able to save a little over $1,500 for October. So we still did really well. I'm pretty happy about that. And so that's going to go into our savings. So that is our October monthly budget report. Um, like I said, I'm going to probably be doing this every single month to try, just try to keep me accountable and to keep our spending so that way I can go over it with you every month and show you how we budget and where we're kind of at in our journey as we pay down the debt that we do have. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and I will see you in the next video. Bye!